Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Svá and in today's video I bring to you guys a new episode of the Mage from Scratch series. I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of you guys for the support on this series. Um, guys, I'm super happy that you're interested. I was a little bit afraid that you guys were hardcore EK players, but it turns out most of you are interested in the new series. So I promise, as with the EK1, that I will give my best to each video so you guys can have good content to watch. Anyways, let's start with the video, shall we? So day one started with magic level 87 plus 4. I was level 151 and went to wear foxes since this is a really good respawn for my level. Here I was making pretty good XP, um, I was doing around 1.6 kk raw and also doing some charms. It took me around 3.5 hours to finish the bestiary of wear foxes and wear badgers. Were boars were close to completion and were bears were pretty far, but uh, we made the progress nonetheless. There's not much to explain in this respawn. I was just doing a circular lap in minus one, and I ended up leveling from 151 to 161. Day 2 started with magic level 87 plus 5 and I wanted to try a respawn. I really think this respawn is incredible for mages and it's pretty much empty all the time. I'm talking about Ixupan. In here you will face X monsters and they drop a lot of jewelry and money which is super handy for mages since it's loot that doesn't wait much. Also you have a chance to drop items from the broken X set um, to get the add-ons some of which sells for a lot to players. I ended up dropping the Lex, which sells for 200k on my server. I was making around 1.3kk raw and around 160k profit without looting everything. Be really careful if you come here with the cursed apes because they hit super hard compared to the other mobs. I ended up hunting for 3 hours and finished X Aukar and X Apututu. The X Apututu is a really easy bestiary that gives 50 points for killing only 5 of them. You need to kill X creatures close to the campfires that are spread through the respawn to get a chance to summon a raid. If you kill the raid before the campfire expires, you summon the X Apututu. As for the X Chuka and Pututu, in the 3 hours of hunting I was able to almost finish them. The Corset Apes take the longest by far. The route I was doing is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to make a separated video to explain the respawn. And in these 3 hours I got from 161 to level 167. On day 3, magic happened, and exotic bats were boosted. I instantly connected and basically sped run the access to get to exotic cave. The respawn was absolutely crazy. I was making around 1.3kk raw, but with boost, boosted creature, and XP prey on exotic bat, the total XP was around 5kks. This XP is ridiculous for a solo hunt on this level range. Also, the profit was crazy good. I was profiting around 600k per hour thanks to the boosted creature. I was hunting both floors and almost finished exotic bats in one hour of hunt. Spiders have a pretty bad ratio, so after 3 hours hunt, I killed 2.6 bats and only 600 spiders. I got from level 168 to level 177 hunting here and made almost 2kk profit. Insane guys. On day 4 I wanted to finish the X bestiary so I went there again. I stayed for 1 hour and 20 minutes and leveled from 177 to 180. Still need to charm the cursed apes, but I don't care about them for now because it takes way too long to complete. 
After hunting this respawn for 5 hours, I only kill 395 apes. Oof. After the X hunt, I started fairly success because there are a couple of good respawns in there and I want to try to charm them and to hunt them. This access, guys, brought so many memories. Like, yeah, I don't know. Good old times, I guess, man. Once I got access to fairies, I went to Mini Roshamul. It was okay, but it was really risky for this level and gear. I didn't bring a garlic necklace, which was super troll in my opinion, so I hunted there for only 20 minutes, got one level, and headed to Dark Phone Cave. This respawn is pretty good for this level, and uh, you get a little bit of profit, and XP is not terrible. The respawn is really close to Depot, which makes it really nice to hunt because of the low capacity that mates have. I hunted the respawn for 2 hours, I completed both Dark Phones and Twisted Puka at the same time after these 2 hours, but boogies take the longest and I only killed 300 of them. I was using both floors and XP was 1.1kk raw and profit was around 120k. As I said, not a meta respawn, but not bad either. I leveled here from 181 to 183. Day 5 started with magic level 90 plus 4. I decided to give Mini Rosha another try, but with garlic necklace this time, and it was way better. If you want to try it out, I would suggest to bring a prismatic ring for extra safety. And um, I stayed here until I finished bestiary, which took me around 2 hours. You finish Frasal Mouse in around 1 hour and 20 minutes, but the silencer takes a little bit longer, which is around 2 hours and 20 minutes. XP was decent at 1.1kk raw and profit 100k. Bear in mind though, I wasn't looting everything because of the cap. I personally didn't like the respawn because of the paralyze and the crazy damage the, the mobs make. Also, silencers lower your magic level so you heal a little bit less and also you hit less. So yeah, I was forced to use Exura Vita instead of Exura Gran because I couldn't heal full. So yeah, it was pretty pretty bad experience to Hunter, in my opinion. I didn't like it. I got from 183 to 186 hunting here. Then I went to try my next charm spawn. This respawn has been rebalanced recently and now it's a decent place, I would say. This was the second respawn I didn't enjoy hunting, um, but I know if I didn't do these charms now, I would pretty much regret it later, so I went there and finished it. I'm talking about Okolnir Frost Dragons. I wasn't really following any route, um, I hunted here for 40 minutes and I was making around 1.3kk raw, which is not bad at all, and 30 to 40k waste. The respawn is super annoying because of the paralyze and also the fact that the both dragons run with a lot of health, like it, it makes no sense. This is super frustrating as a mage. I got from level 186 to 187 hunting here. Day 6 started with magic level 91 plus 4 and I went to finish Frost Dragon's bestiary. I hunted there for 2 hours. Frost Dragon's takes around 1 hour and 40 minutes and the hatchlings take around 3 hours total. As I said, this respawn is good but I didn't like it at all. Like it was super frustrating to hunt here. I don't recommend it but the XP, well yeah, the, the numbers are not bad. I got from level 187 to 191 hunting here. After that I went to try out a really known and meta respawn, Oramon West. This respawn is especially known when there are Quara's scout raid. This raid as far as I know is random, so I went there to check if there were Quara's but unfortunately there were none. When the Quara's are present, the density of this respawn is crazy guys, like this is insane. But as I said, no luck this time and the Quaras weren't there, but the XP was great nonetheless. I hunted there for 1 hour and made 1.7 kk raw. I wasted around 243k's because I didn't bother to loot anything at all. I got from level 191 to 192. Day 7 started with magic level 92 plus 4. Today, <laughs> today the pirate Kuthroat was boosted and man, this respawn was insane. 
The XP was super good. I went to the pirate mine located in the exotic cave and man, I hunted there for 3 hours using both floors. I was making around 1.8kk raw and 10k waste. Let me clarify something, you never waste in this respawn, even less if it's boosted, but the loot waits a lot and I prioritized XP over loot so I was barely looting. I had an XP prey on Kuthroat and with boost and boosted mob I was making around 6.6kk total XP bro. What the f This respawn was insane man. This XP is crazy for this level. I killed around 180 bombardiers, 170 scandrials and 701 cutthroats in one hour. So it took me an hour and a half to unlock cutthroats and I ended up killing around 500 of the others too in 3 hours. Unfortunately in here you don't have pirate mate so this bestiary is not progressed, unlucky. And as I said, I hunted for 3 hours and went from level 192 to 203 hunting here. Sheesh! I also enjoyed a lot this hunt. It is a really fun respawn to hunt. There's a lot of density of mobs and yeah, it felt really good to hunt here. Also, I feel like in a normal day, this respawn is pretty anti, so I would recommend trying it out, guys. Anyways guys, that was all for this week's progress. As I said before, I'm really happy that you guys are interested in this series and if you have any suggestion, please don't hesitate to tell me. Remember that I stream pretty much daily on Twitch, so come by and say hello. If you want to support this channel, you can donate Tipia coins to Waivers Bar, and if not, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching and as always, sit up straight, drink water and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!